Hello and welcome, my name is Marilyn and you can find me on Revelry at Marilyn83 and Instagram at JoyfulNitter UK. So, all about knitting today. You can see I'm wearing my Odaki or Odake or Nissa. I don't know, there's two names for the sweater by Sally Nordland and uh, it is a good fit. I've tucked in the sleeves because they're a little bit annoying when I'm washing up dishes and things. Uh, you can see they're frayed out a little bit, but that's, that's okay. I just tuck them in and off we go. Um, I might just rip them out and, and redo the, <clears throat> the cuffs, or I might just not. I don't, uh, I don't think it affects the, the, the decision to pull it and wear it because I, I do love this quite a bit. I love the, the collar is a good, Fit. and the short rows are really nice you can see them at the back and of course the yoke is something else <laughs> it's really good uh, I'm just gonna glance down at my Ravelry projects here because I haven't filmed for quite a while um, and my last video I don't know what happened but the end the last two minutes cut off and um, my last bit was wiped out the video for some reason i don't know if there was an error when i exported it and i didn't pick it up and then when i uploaded it to youtube it was what i thought fine but then i happened to watch it back just to check and it wasn't fine and i don't know what made me check it but anyways sorry about that the abrupt ending to my last video <laughs> i don't know what happened there um there was a bit that was left out that shouldn't have been and that was a finished object, an entire finished object that I forgot to put in the beginning. Um, that I had forgotten I'd finished because I was so excited about the cotton tee, which is also finished. Today is all about the finished objects. There's, let me just see here, one, two, three, four, five finished objects and very nearly a sixth one. And I haven't felt like, like it's the middle of the school term, so it's not like I have lots of holiday time to knit. So I'm not sure where I'm finding this time. Maybe I'm neglecting the house more than, <laughs> more than I think. <laughs> you all know that feeling of I'd rather knit a few more rows than go and clean the bathroom or something, you know, or turn the laundry again for the millionth time that week. I'd rather just knit a few rows, you know. I don't know. I've, I've just managed to do a lot of knitting this last month, which is great. Yeah. Anyways, this is my finished um, cardigan. It is Drops Flora and Kid Silk, so it's lovely, fuzzy, and uh, just really, really lovely. Three by one broken rib pattern. And the shoulder is um, slightly off, but that's just because I was too lazy to sort of count the stitches in. You could probably make that a bit neater, but it's neat enough, the shoulder, for me. You don't see it, it's at the top. Um, so the set in sleeves there, and then the button band is this lovely double, double button band, which just is amazing. That is a modification. That doesn't come with the pattern. Sorry, this pattern is the Wild Mint Tea. This is a Gone Studio pattern, uh, a free pattern. Uh, it's quite a cropped cardigan, as you can see. Um, comes to my waist and slightly shorter than I'd like. I probably would like a inch or two longer, but anyways, it'll be lovely for spring. Um, it has a um, garter ridge or garter stitch neckline and button band, but I didn't like that. I wanted to try the double button band. So I just fudged my way all along and followed YouTube tutorial tutorials on how to uh, add a lovely squishy double knit button band and I think that's pretty neat I like the look of that a lot and I think it's because of this neat finishing that I will be grabbing this very very often this spring so I'm loving the outcome I like the feel of this it's got the mohair in obviously from the drops kid silk which is mohair and silk but it's, it's soft it's not soft enough for me it's not it's not that it's not scratchy in any way that I've picked up on I think maybe when it's warm it might be but um, 
yeah I just thought I'd put it in because I do like the look of the halo and the, the fuzziness that it brings so yes one finished object the second finished object oh my son is out on his bike and he's wearing it I'll just put a picture in it's basically a um so I took an Aran weight and a DK weight acrylic yarn in my stash um, I had a ton of dark grey and then a couple of Aran weight um, <clears throat> acrylic colours. So I had like oranges and teals and a bit of green, lime green. And I thought I'm just going to throw it all together in a marled kind of way and knit my son a simple raglan with all these leftover acrylic yarns. And it turned out pretty good. It was really stiff, like a cardboard <laughs> jumper when it was done because it was on um, 10 millimeter needles. But it was held double tomorrow um, and to make it a quicker knit and because i had such a tight gauge the fabric was pretty stiff um, but i know that acrylic this particular acrylic does soften up and stretch out and do wild things when it comes out the wash so threw it in the wash threw it in the dryer and it softened up completely it was like nice and flowy so he wears that um, on cold spring days like today it is pretty cold today, um, although the sun is out now, which is great. So they're out bike riding and it's given me a moment to film a video because that's the main reason I don't film that often is because I just never have a moment to myself to do this. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. Um, I have also finished the green traveling cable cowl. So let me grab that quickly. It is... 100% wool. It's made from Drops Charisma, which is not the softest. I thought I'd block it. Oh, that's inside out. Block it, dry it, and then feel it again, but it's still not the softest. But look at those cables. Mm -hmm. Cable, 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 just what's the word I'm looking for? Cably goodness. I don't know. It's just really cably and really, really, really lovely. So um, it's just a. Uh, Lovely, warm, it's actually not scratchy now. No, uh, this will be lovely in winter. Yeah, um, and it just it covers everything that needs to be covered for winter um, and sun. <laughs> it's maybe a bit big, but I do like it. Um, it's a lovely color. It's very um, usable by either myself or my boys. My husband might even wear it. This is his color. He likes, you know, this kind of army green or um any any green really or beige or brown or black so this is his color too and i think uh one of us will enjoy wearing it in the winter but i have kind of put it aside for now my idea is to take this leftover yarn that i have in my stash this was a brainwave in the middle of the night i think i woke up and went that's what i could do to make this thing less scratchy i knew i had this in stash it is like a um plush I think they call it like a plush yarn you get them at any kind of hobby craft or I'd imagine Michaels or something like that in America would have in the US would have this kind of a yarn of sorts um, but here in the UK which is where I'm at um, you could just go to hobby craft and pick up something similar it's like a I think they call it plush or something like that uh, any kind of poofy yarn basically <laughs> and I had this in my stash and uh it's, I think, DK, classified as a DK. And I thought, well, why don't I knit like an inside lining for the cowl and then have that on the inside and therefore don't have to ever worry about the itch again and it would be super doubly warm. It doesn't really match, but it'll be on the inside. No one will know. Um, anyway, that's the idea. I've put this aside for now. I'm not going to rush to, to do that. A, because I don't feel like it, but B, uh, it's spring, so you'd think you wouldn't need that in this weather, but here in the UK, I don't know, like, I'm wearing this, and it's like, what is the date today? 13th of May, so you never know, but my spring tea is done, and that I want to show you, didn't have, let me go and fetch it, right, so I'm back, I just went to go and fetch this upstairs, um, I wasn't planning on doing a video now but I have the chance so just quickly rushing around to collect all my finished items because I have apparently so many of them this week which is a surprise to me um 
Anyways, lots of finished items. This is one of them. This is the cotton tee on five millimeter needles. You can't see a thing because it's black. There we go. There we go. There we go. Mm hmm. So I might pop in. Oh, I'm unfit. <laughs> Ran up and down the stairs and now I can't breathe. <laughs> Yep. So this is, uh, I think I mentioned this last time, it's my own design, simple raglan tee um, with random textures all the way down the front. And I love the way it turned out. I love it. I love, 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 love it. And I'll definitely, definitely, definitely knit another one. I now just need to write up what I did. I particularly like this one. Yeah, so it's got like a, uh, I think it's a triple drop stitch. There's some moss stitch going on there, nice lattice pattern, some garter ridges, a little uh, eyelet diamond there. Yeah, so basically just a whole bunch of patterns thrown together. Here is an I-cord edging on the sleeve. I thought I'd go with something nice and classic clean lines it's what I like so it's a single I spoke about this last time just a single collar because I think cotton doubled up looks a bit funny maybe I might try it one time but um I thought it might be a bit too bulky on the top because this is pretty airy you can see right through it <laughs> uh, and that's because I wanted something to throw over like a tank or a another tea underneath just to have an extra layer yeah um it's a cotton 100 cotton oh no it's 50 50 cotton 50 polyester this is um drops cotton light i think i used yeah um and yes i'm very happy with this very happy with all the texture very happy with the outcome very happy with the fit i might wear it on my next one Yes, my cotton tee on 5mm needles. I don't know what to call this. And I have no plans at the moment to release a pattern or anything. Um, but I might do. I might do. I might do. I'll see how much time I have. Um, in the near future, I have some exciting job changes happening, um, which might give me more time to do things like that. So we'll see how that turns out. Okay, that was item number... Two, three, two. Yeah, three, third one. Fourth one, finished item. Was a surprise cast on this week. I wasn't planning to do this at all, but for some reason, who was speaking about crochet? One of the podcasters I watch. Oh, who was it now? I need to I need to mention this person to say thank you to them. I can't remember who it was now. That's so annoying. Uh, anyways, they were, they were just talking about crocheting and how lovely it was to crochet and they just love crochet and I was like, hmm, I haven't done that in so long and I have this lovely cotton, uh, this lovely cotton, where's that gone now? I had 600 grams of this. My mother gave this to me about 10 years ago and it's been in my stash ever since. She has like a very distinct um, perfume that she uses and this cotton smells as lovely as she does. So that's really nice. After 10 years, I still, I still smell her in this yard. I mean, I smell is a, 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 not the right word to use, but the, the fragrance of my mom is in this cotton, which is really nice. I need to tell her that. Maybe, maybe I'll tell her about the podcast and she can watch and, and, uh, <laughs> and um, hear all about how I've used her cotton uh, that she gifted me 10 years ago, which I finally uh, had inspiration to crochet up because I knew I wanted to do some macrame like you know those wall um ropey wall designs that you hang or uh, a crochet basket but i was just waiting for that moment of inspiration to hit and it did thanks to whoever this podcaster was who was it it might have been um so you know the three sisters copy kelly and uh, mr bovin and 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 kalila kahila oh their names are so similar those three uh i know they were talking a lot about crochet this week so maybe it was them might have been them. Anyways, was inspired to crochet this up. So I did a circle, which you can just look up on YouTube, how to do a nice circle. Uh, I think I started with 10 single crochets and then went out. When I was happy with the diameter, um, 
I did like a back through the back loop crochet row to make this ridge and then I just single crocheted all the way around and up and it's created this lovely bag. The handles I just wung it, is that open a word? I winged it <laughs> and I created um, some three row handles that are just sturdy enough to hold. The cotton's pretty strong so it's not going to go anywhere and it's, it's big enough to house my latest whip. So what I do is I fold over the, the top and then it sits like a basket. Uh, see the ends are pretty hard to weave in because it's like really thick cotton but anyway it sits like and this I just found lying around the house so I'll put that on for stitch markers or whatever. Uh, yeah so it's just like a little basket it's very aesthetically pleasing and it's very sturdy and it's just the right size and it was technically free so love it. This is my unexpected finished object of the week. Um, I think I did this in three days because I was just so on a roll. Uh, I did the circle, the base in one night, a couple hours, then I did the half and then the other half and I finished it in the third day. And it's great. I love it. So that's that one. And I only have, out of the 600 grams, I have that much left, which is about 80 grams, I'd say. Uh, so thanks to mom uh, for gifting me those so many years ago and giving me a lovely bag now that I'm using and I will use probably every day of my life for the next, till I die, because <laughs> I will be knitting till I die, I guess. Anyway, it's housing my latest whip. Which is, can anyone guess? <laughs> Another ranunculus. I don't know why this pattern called me again, but it did. So basically what I wanted was a flowy, summery, cottony tee. This is going to be short sleeves. I've bound off that sleeve, so it's about that short, the sleeve. And I did a one by one rib with an Italian cast off, uh, a bind off, cast off, same thing, right? Um, with an Italian cast on and single... Um, so not a double folded collar, just a single collar. And then of course the lovely ranunculus, look at those. So that, that pattern there is very similar to the one I used in my, in my tea, because I do love it so much. It's just very iconic for the ranunculus though. It's, it's, for me when I see that I think ranunculus, it's almost like it owns that pattern. <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I see that pattern I think, oh that, that's the ranunculus pattern, flower. Anyways, and these lovely, lovely, um, very clever stitches. Um, which makes such a lovely texture. Um, it's up there. I'm busy with the four millimeter needles doing the um, ribbing. So I'm nearly done. I have like, I don't know, five rows, seven rows of ribbing left and then I'm done. Uh, and then this will be the next finished object. So it's kind of, kind of finished. Uh, I, I added some, just a modification at the bottom here, an extra row of those textures that are the same as the ones at the top here. You can see them here. I just repeated that near the end, near the bottom, uh, and then did some rib and then cast off again, Italian cast off. So nice and rounded the edges. You can see how nicely rounded that looks. I just, I do love it. It just really is so nice. So this is on 5.5 um, mil needles. So it's really nice and um, flowy and the yarn is <clears throat> Drops Bell, so this is so 120 meters, 50 grams, 53% cotton, 33 viscose, and 14 linen. So it's very similar to like the Sun is Gone that does a very similar. Can you hear that aeroplane? Anyway. Uh, very similar to some other yarn, uh, bigger brands, um, some other big brands, um, which might be a better option for some people. I don't know. I'm on a budget, so Drops is my friend right now. And um, this whole tea has taken five of those, so 250 grams, 250 grams it took me uh, to do this one. And I love the flow of this. It's just so you can see the, the open stitches. Uh, so the idea with this one is to wear like a pink tank under or a black tank even or a white one even, maybe not white, I don't know. 
um, the idea is to throw this over. So a very similar um, gap in my wardrobe that it's filling that my cotton tee is. Um, that's got more cotton, that, that's 50% cotton. Oh, this is 53% cotton, so there's more cotton in here. But this is the linen and viscose, and then that one's just polyester. So it's different... What's the word? Um, different compositions. So I'll see how they compare. Um, they're very similar um, gauges and very similar, you know, with the holes and, and light and airy. So I'm very excited to wear these two items this summer and spring and potentially autumn. I don't know. You never know. We might have a nice long extended uh, mild autumn and then I could wear it there too because I could wear long sleeve under. Um, but yes, throw this over a tank with some jeans. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I could wear this to work as well. Um, and that's what I wanted. So I was thinking to myself, I need more items that I enjoy knitting that I can also wear to work. So a slightly formal environment. And this is perfect. The ranunculus just jumped to mind. And I thought, well, I need to do a short sleeve version in like a, a summery um, yarn. And then Drops Bell came to mind and I thought, yes. Cotton linen, yes. So, and inexpensive too. This is all I've got left, so I'll definitely make it. I thought I was playing yarn chicken for a moment, but I've got a few rows left. I'll definitely make it and bind it off. Um, but I think I did pretty well in terms of using up as much yarn as possible. I'll, I won't have much left to do anything with, so I'll say that was a win. And yes, that is all I'm working on at the moment. I'm super excited to get these, to get that ranunculus off the needles and to wear it. We just now need some warmer weather. Um, I don't know where you are in the world, but my spring is pretty grim still. Um, even when the sun comes out, I'm still wearing very much knitted items. I blocked this and packed it away for the winter, for, for the for the season. And then I pulled it back out again because I needed it. Uh, it's still cold. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, lots of finished items this week it probably won't be like that for a while but i've had a lot of lingering stuff um that like the cowl that i've just quickly finished up um and then of course the the purple cardigan which lingered for ages oh no which has been finished for ages um yes lovely and soft um i do want to knit another cardigan at some point uh, a baby blue one um or an ice blue or something like that light blue yeah so anyway that's that's what i've been knitting on that's what i've been doing i hope that it's inspired you to do something um as i was inspired to knit some uh or to crochet something i hope i've inspired somebody somewhere to knit or crochet something um yeah why not why not get uh, another ranunculus on the needles or knit a cotton tee for the summer why not um I definitely don't have enough summer items, but after these two finished ob objects, at least I have something um, that I know I'm going to wear a lot, and even the cardigan. So that's three items I'll wear pretty often, I think, in the spring and summer. Yes, but I think that's it. I'm planning on casting on, um, um, let me see here. I didn't mention the pink colorwork sweater. I'm just looking at my... Ravelry here. I actually finished that, I think, since the last time we spoke. Um, and it was also my own sort of, it was the Talia yoke, but everything else I just modified and, and finished up. Maybe I'll put in a picture of what that ended up looking like. Um, I think I had it, <clears throat> excuse me, with a, with a bottom bit that I didn't like, so I ripped that back a good four or five inches and then re-knit the bottom and I'm much happier with how that looks now and uh, that's also done but that I have packed away for the season because um, this one and some other jumpers I do have out so I'll just rotate those and and keep the nice new blocked one for when winter comes back so yeah I don't think I have anything else today um, but all I can say is that I am so loving the knitting and the crocheting right now. Uh, it has really been consuming a lot of my free time and I love it. 
love it love it love it but anyways uh, I know you guys do too because that's why you're watching knitting podcasts on YouTube and that's why I do the same and uh, anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of weekend and rest of the week and the rest of the month of May because I probably won't put another video up this month um, maybe we'll see if I ever get a free moment <laughs> again this month then I might do and depending on how much I get in it but yes I shall hopefully update um, on this channel soon. Until next time, bye.